What's good, Faith family? It's your girl, L.A., and I just want to take this time out to welcome uh, some of our new subscribers. Um, it's been a minute since I did a personal welcome, but um, I thought today would be a good day to just take some time out um, and to address all the new subscribers to this channel. I don't know how you guys found me, but listen, you can go down in the comments below, and I would love to hear how you came about finding my channel, Adventures of Fearless Faith. Um, because, uh, and the reason that I'm curious is because I just like to know um, when God is up to something. And I like to know when he's true to his word. Because when I started this channel, it was just a place for me to dump videos because I started recording my rides and enjoying the whole process of editing my videos and trying to figure out my GoPro and all that good stuff. And uh, and so I just needed some place to dump the videos. And so I started a YouTube channel and, you know, just like, hey, boop, there it is. And then um, as my videos and my um, knowledge and what I was doing started to get better, my numbers started growing. Um, and if you notice, I don't really too much do all of that stuff that they say, you know, hit the bell and subscribe and don't, da, 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 da. I don't, look, it's just enough for me to get the videos done. Uh, so, you know, and, and figuring out all of that stuff, because I truly believe in my heart that if God is for you, who can be against you? And if God is in it, they will find it. And so, um, and that's what's been happening. This, my YouTube channel, this channel has been growing and it has been, uh, and I'm just going to say the grace of God. God is doing the increase and I thank him for it. And so I just wanted to take some time out and personally thank all of the new subscribers that have somehow found this channel <laughs> and clicked that uh, subscribe button. Listen, I see it because I get the dings on my cell phone. And when I, I, I see the names and I try to, you know, go in and make sure that I communicate with you guys and say hi, answer your questions, because I don't want to be that chick that everybody's always commenting and saying things and, and nobody, I've, I've, I've done that. I've, you know, followed some people and, you know, for my personal interests and you ask a question and nothing, crickets. <laughs> and so, it, it aggravates me and I don't want to do that and I don't want to take your time for granted and so I just wanted to come on here and do a personal uh, acknowledgement to all of the new subscribers and the ones that are hanging in there with me okay um, and just share a little bit about myself you know my name is LaShawn Jackson I live in Houston Texas um, I'm not a native of uh, Texas I'm originally uh, a Detroit girl, okay? <laughs> I'm a Detroit chick. Uh, but moved to the South, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, uh, when my grandparents retired back in the, er, the late 70s. And our whole family relocated to the South because that's where my grandparents were from. They were from uh, Maringouin, Maringouin, Louisiana and Woodville, Mississippi. And so when my grandfather retired, we picked up and moved to the South. And so um, as a little girl, that's a whole nother story, uh, being born in Detroit and spending your your elementary, junior high, high school life in the South. That's a whole nother YouTube channel right there. But anyway, um, originally from Detroit, moved to Louisiana, married me a good old country uh, boy and moved to Texas. Okay, so I'm not a native of Texas, but I got here as fast as I could by way of marrying a, 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 a Southern graduate, Southern SU, SU, SSU. Yes, my, son, my husband is a Southern University graduate. And so um, we moved to Houston, Texas, had a family. Uh, like I said, this is the man I married. These are his children I had. And uh, these are the grandbabies. <laughs> so... But, um, you know, so my life is here in Houston, Texas. And if you know anything about Texas, it's hot. Hella hot. But um, I have been a Can-Am spider rider since 2020. And if you know anything about 2020, or if you don't, you probably was living up under a rock. But you guys know what transpired in 2020. I ain't going into all of that. But um, 
I we were all Texas was under stay at home orders and I came across um, a Facebook page called Women of On Road and got inspired, encouraged. Whew, baby, let me tell you, I didn't know it was that many women out there living like that and enjoying the open road. And so, you know, I talked to my husband about it and he said, hey, if that's what you want to do, you got time. <laughs> Let's go and do it. And so long story short, got my bike in October. So I've been riding since October of 2020. Um, and it's been a journey. It's been an adventure. I absolutely love my ride. And I say my ride is because I, my husband bought me a motorcycle, two wheel motorcycle, and I started learning. Um, but in the midst of learning how to ride it, um, we have a huge dog, which if you guys been following me, you know, he recently passed. And at the time, um, I was walking him outdoors and, a neighbor dog across the street got out, charged us, and my dog did what he was supposed to do, protect mama. And so he drug me across the yard and uh, hurt my ankle really bad, had to go to rehab, uh, 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 therapy about it and all that good stuff, and just could not bear any weight on my ankle after that incident. So trying to learn how to ride a two-wheel motorcycle with the issues I was having with my ankle especially it being the right ankle was not going to work. And so, um, you know, I just put it aside, but, um, through faith and divine intervention and connection, um, the spirit of God led me to that Facebook page and saw all these women riding these beautiful, weird looking little bikes with three wheels. And I found my tribe and I have been blessed and happy ever since. And so, um, like I said, I was so uh, excited about writing and all that good stuff. I started wanting to film my vid my, my rides and, and just take people on the journey with me in writing and show them how fun this was. And so I started dumping the videos into a YouTube channel and here we are. And so, um, you know, I decided um, to get serious about the YouTube channel and, you know, prayed about it, asked God, what should I name it? And um, I, I took, I came up with the name Adventures of Fearless Faith because it is an adventure um, daily, putting faith over fear and um, riding the open road. And for, especially for myself, for someone who struggled with fear of doing everything, <laughs> anything uh, adventurous like that. And so, um, you know, yeah, this is, this is me and this is my journey and I'm glad you guys are here to come along. I wanted to start this channel um, and, and get serious about it because the numbers were growing and people were, you know, asking questions about the videos and, and a lot of the women that are on the video, that are um, subscribers, um, are also subscribed to my blog in which you know, they know I pray for them. We, we communicate, we message one another because that's what I'm about. I love to pray. Prayers are the keys to the kingdom that open the heavens and doors. So I believe that prayer is powerful. It works. And there are, and, and when you are on these bikes riding the open road, baby, if you don't need prayer, I don't know what else you need <laughs> because we drive, we ride our bikes out here with distracted drivers, drunk drivers, young drivers, old drivers, just people, just everybody's distracted. But it is such a beautiful, peaceful um, adventure, dare I say, riding on the open road and, and, and enjoying that peace and serenity of you know, of going out on these long country roads that we ride and having fun with like-minded people who love to ride on the open road and, and just enjoying that part of my life with like-minded people. And so, you know, prayer is very important to me. And so a lot of people will email me and text me, message me um, about what they're dealing with, you know, um, and the issues that they're dealing with. Some of them have lost spouses and, and have ventured out to start writing again. And they discuss that. Some of them are going through injuries and rehabilitation and, and building up their faith and courage, and, and courage to get back on the bike again. And some of them are just, you know, some women are newly divorced 
and just, hey, you know, I can finally do this now. Uh, if you're like my husband and I, we're empty nesters officially now because we don't have our big boy in the house with us anymore. And so now, you know, our rides can be a little bit more longer and open to staying out and really enjoying each other on the open road because we're not tied to, um, you know, having to come back home and take care of the big boy, you know. And so I say that was a beautiful gift, even though it was tough losing our, our dog and him crossing the rainbow bridge, you know, he did give us a beautiful gift at this stage of our marriage, um, 35 years this year and, um, and being no children at home, you know, so to speak. And, um, my granddaughter has, and my daughter, they have been here because they're transitioning through the military to their next chapter. And so they've been here since Thanksgiving. And so, you know, that's been a blessing to have, you know, the second grandbaby running around the house and all that good stuff. Matter of fact, I'm on a grandma duty right now. So <laughs> I got the monitor with me. Hey, it's real life. But um, so, you know, I just wanted to come on here and just kind of share my story, my life with you guys, because, um, you know, I am learning and growing as you're growing and riding the open road and riding my Can-Am Spider and building up my faith encouragement every day with every ride that I go on and learning more and more and more about my bike and myself as a woman of faith. Because above everything else that I am, a wife, a mother, a grandmother, all that good stuff, um, a culinary chef, I, I bake. Um, when I'm not doing all this other stuff, um, I bake. And so... Um, and occasionally when the local floral shop here, because I am a trained florist, um, when they need help, I go in and, and help them out. I love um, being of service to those who need help. And so, um, you know, this is this is my life and this is what I do. And so I just wanted to share a little myself with you guys as well um, as welcome the new subscribers to this channel because uh, this is me all day long. There's no airs. This is who I am and you know, I'm growing and I hope you guys enjoy the videos. If there's something that you want to see, you know, go down in the comments below and let me know and I'll try and work it out. I do have some, um, some exciting videos that I want to do this year. Um, one being on gear because I'm a gear holic. I, I, I got issues with gear. I love it. Okay. Bikes, boots, gloves, helmets. I, I love all that stuff and I love to coordinate, okay? I ain't trying to get out on on my bike looking like a hot mess, okay? Um, so, <laughs> you know, I want to do a video on gear. As a matter of fact, um, I just a couple of weeks ago um, did a, a call with some other uh, female riders with the staff of Can-Am discussing gear for women. And so they are... They're listening. They got their ear to the to the street. They got their eye on the Facebook pages, and they're hearing what we're what we need, what our needs are as far as our body style and what we how we want to ride and how we want to feel when we ride. And so it was a beautiful opportunity that they asked me to be a part of um, in discussing gear, creating a line of gear for women and taking the gear to the next level and women from all over the country, all over the globe. I mean, I had a sister girl who did the clip art that you guys see on my YouTube channel um, in over, over in overseas. I think she's in Switzerland, something like that. And so, you know, so being able to see her and talk with her, you know, was just amazing, you know, just so I love the Can-Am three wheel riding community. And that's where my heart lies. And that's what my heart is for you guys that um, ride Can-Am spiders and Rikers, all that good stuff. So with that being said, I hope you guys know a little bit more about me, know a little bit more about why I started this channel and, um, you know, just feel a little bit more comfortable. Like I said, go through all the videos. If you have some questions about anything, hit me up in the comments below. And if there is a video that you want me to do, you know, um, let me know. Go down in the comments and let me know. I do want to do a video on um, how my husband and I met and couples that ride together. Because I think it's very interesting um, when your husband rides a two-wheel bike 
and um, I ride a Can-Am Spider and we ride together. And so how we've grown, our relationship grown in that area because it's really interesting. Um, and so we're doing some really cool vacation rides this year. Um, he's doing Sturgis for the first time. I'm not going because he's going with the, uh, I call it the bucket crew. You can replace the B with the F because um, they they don't, they, they ride. They don't care. They're going to do 500 miles a day on their bikes and stop when they just dead tired, rest and keep it going. And they're chasing coins. So if you ride a Harley and you know what the phrase means, chasing coins, that's what they're doing. They're hitting these states and getting their coins. And so um, I, most of us ain't trying to do all of that. So he's doing Sturges, but... Um, we're doing our spring vacation ride to Virginia Beach, and that's going to be real cool, and your girl is going on that. So, hopefully it ain't going to be hella hot like it was last year. So, I think that's sometime in May. So, I'm looking forward to doing that because that's actually going to be our long, I think it's maybe 10, 12 days, something like that. So, that's going to be, oh, I can't wait. So, um, we're going to do that, and then we've got some, we're since... You know, we're officially empty nesters. We're going to try and do some little um, couple weekend getaways together. Um, because like a lady once told me that I used to work with, she said, you can live your whole life in Texas and never see all that it has to offer. And Texas has a lot to offer. A lot of beautiful little Mayberry towns, I like to call them, that are just waiting to be discovered. And I can't wait. So um, we're looking forward to doing some couple rides together, just he and I, since we're, you know, can do that now. And uh, and spend some time with each other and just explore and, and, and hang out and so and take you guys along for that adventure. So, but anyway, listen, y'all know what I always like to say and I believe in my heart. That God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And it is because of that that you and I can ride the good ride of faith. Guys, my name is LaShawn Jackson, and I am a three-wheel Can-Am Spider Rider. Proud of it, love it to death, love it to life, and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way, and I wouldn't change it. Just wouldn't. So I love you guys and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing, for liking, for sharing, whatever y'all do with all of this content. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I Trust me, I do not take it lightly. And you can tell I don't take it lightly because I try to respond back to you guys. I appreciate every comment. I appreciate every question because, again, we are all out here. Believe it or not, whether you believe in God, the Father, the Son, whether you believe in the Trinity or not, we are all out here trying to ride the good ride of faith and trying to enjoy the open road and what it has to offer. And it's a beautiful, beautiful journey. And so we're all out here together. And at the end of the day, I pray that we all make it home safe to our families, to our dwellings, and to those that love us so we can ride the good ride of faith again. So with that being said, God bless you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing. And uh, stay tuned because this year I am believing God for more adventures, more faith to fuel my good ride. I love you guys. Stay in faith and stay safe out there.